Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start straight with the content because uh, yesterday we had a nice push to the upside here. We had this uh, little breather towards $10,700 that we were also expecting. So congratulations if you took this long. But as I told you also in yesterday's video, we most likely going to test this area here before we continue to drop lower so even though it is bullish that we had here this bounce to the upside i still expect some more continuation to the downside especially during this weekend and most likely also next week if this month we don't fill this cme gap down to nine thousand six hundred dollar i'm expecting also bearish october so it's all gonna depend if this month we are able to close this cme gap that we still have down to $9,600 or not because we still have to fill this gap as long as we are not filling this gap down here I think it is most likely the case that we're gonna see maybe one more last correction to the downside to test important supports and also close the CME gap so we can start now with the one hour time frame here on the Bitcoin price because after yesterday's top here of 10,770 we had here a bearish divergence in the one hour time frame and this is currently playing out. So this little pullback here was expected and it also looks like that we're gonna see continuation to the downside. It is still possible that maybe we're gonna have one more test towards here, $10,700 or something like this, maybe even 11,000. But all in all, I'm expecting here continuation to the downside. Also today's Friday, so let's see what the price action will bring because usually on Friday we have a lot of volatility and then of course on weekend is playtime. So RSI cooled off now totally to the 50 level so we have to see if here we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside or not. Most likely we're gonna have a little breather to the upside again because we are now in a very critical point here in the RSI and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that we are testing now the bottom here at 10,560. If we are starting to overshooting it to the downside then most likely we're gonna go again towards 10,200 or maybe even towards 10k even within today stochastic is already oversold so if we're gonna see a bounce to the upside it should happen right now otherwise i think we will see continuation to the downside also because uh, macd and kst are still shifted to the downside they had a bearish cross up here and that's why i'm expecting today if we don't gonna see here at least another bounce and test of ten thousand seven hundred dollar and also break it continuation to the downside also if we have a look into the dxy you can see that we are still bouncing here from the 20 and 50 moving average we are also far away from the 200 moving average so the dxy is definitely looking bullish also here in the lower time frames and i even got here a buy signal so i'm expecting continuation here on the dxy at least towards the 200 daily moving average at 97 dollar and we're still far away from it we're only here at 94.50 and let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because currently we are still trading below the 200 moving average which is very bearish and if we are able to keep up with the 20 moving average here so if we're gonna close four hour candles always above 10,550 there is a high chance that maybe we could go even up here to test this 10,860 and also start to trade above this resistance here but in my opinion it is very likely that we will see continuation to the downside and as soon as we're gonna close a four hour candle below 10,550 this will initiate probably the way down again towards 10k and possibly even lower. RSI came also now back to the 50 level so we are also here in a very critical point we should see here a big bounce to the upside otherwise we will see continuation towards 10k we don't have any kind of bearish or bullish divergence so far so we still need some time here to see where we could be heading to next and if we have a look into the dxy you can see that we are bouncing perfectly at the 20 moving average which is very bullish for the dxy and at the same time bearish for the Bitcoin price even though I got here a sell signal I think this was already playing out here with this correction that we have seen from 90 
458 down to 9420 and now we're going to continue to trade to the upside here on the dxy since here we are trading above the 20 50 and 200 moving average exactly the opposite from the bitcoin price here currently we are bouncing from the 20 moving average but we still have to wait and see where this four hour candle is going to close i think we're going to squeeze out here between the 50 and 20 before we're going to see a clear direction to the upside or most likely to the downside and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour, here in theory we are still bullish because we are trading here on the upper area. But if we're going to have a 4 hour close below 10,550 or even worse, below 10,470, then prepare the price to drop at least towards $10,200 and most likely also towards 10 k the stochastic is overbought and shifted to the downside so that's why i'm also still expecting here some more pushes uh, towards 10.5 maybe even towards 10,200 dollars in the next few hours but KST and MACD are shifted to the upside so this gives a bit hope that we could see here possible bounce and test again this $10,700 maybe even towards $10,800 but all in all I'm still more bearish as long as the DXY is looking so bullish compared to the Bitcoin chart and that's why I still think we will most likely see continuation to the downside even though some pushes towards 10,800 are still in the cards and now let's open up the daily time frame because this time frame now is very very important because yesterday in theory here in the spot chart we had a close above the 20 daily moving average so above ten thousand seven hundred dollar but as you know by now we also need confirmation and so far we are dropping below the 20 so if today we don't have the confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is now the new support we're gonna see clear continuation to the downside most likely towards the 200 daily moving average which is right here at 9240 this is where previously we had this huge resistance here that came down and now it should in theory hold as a support also because we never came down to test this trend line so we only broke it to the upside but never came down to test it and i think this is most likely the time now to go down and test and confirm this new support down here at the 200 daily moving average 9250 the problem is only that as I told you till we are getting there there will be still some pushes to the upside we don't go straight down so be careful in case that you already now open up long positions over on Bybit for example or go all in always DCA your entries and scale in your orders because there is still a high chance that we could go down to those levels and from here on i think we should be safe to go also with long positions even though we could even drop towards 8k but if you go with 5x or 10x leverage maximum you should be able to handle your trade and don't forget if you also want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps that we're seeing all the time especially here in the crypto space you can trade it over on bybit femex or btr for example you find all the links down below here in the video description with my links you can sign up for free on those exchanges no kyc nothing and at the same time you will get some rewards and support the channel definitely go and try it out also because with this bonus you can trade so you can start to trade completely riskless and also with small amounts here you can do a lot of gains and now let's switch back here into the bitcoin chart and open up also the cme chart because here you can see that we didn't close yesterday above the 20 daily moving average so the difference here to the spot chart is that here we don't have weekend data and the cme chart is looking still bearish in my opinion because we had a close exactly below the 20 daily moving average and today also we are not able to push higher so here the cme chart is still looking very bearish in my opinion and this could be a confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is the new resistance at least for the short to mid term and possibly we're going down here to test the 200 daily moving average and also close the cme gap so we finally can bottom out here and continue our bull market rsi is also getting rejected from the 50 level at the moment so also here in my opinion we will most likely head lower here but as i told you my friends everything is possible but be prepared for this scenario and this is also the scenario that i'm gonna play out here so i have my buy orders down here at those levels and also here i'm starting to play 
the longs not yet and i have a little short opened up here with uh, tether because here on bybit you can also trade with you tether just in case that the price is really coming down here and this is where i'm gonna close my short position and then swap it back into a long position but once we're reaching these levels here most likely i'm gonna open it up with bitcoins and not with tether and now we can switch over into the bollinger band in the daily because here also you can see that we are testing here the middle line if today we're gonna close below 10,570 then prepare the price to drop at least towards 10k this is what i also expect today but since it's friday everything is possible and also during the weekend we have play time so i'm expecting also some volatility on the weekend and if today we're not gonna see this drop at least towards 10k then maybe next week will happen and if not next week then for sure in october because september so far was a bearish month and if we are not able to close within this month this cme gap and also test it to the daily moving average i'm expecting it to test it in october probably then start to consolidate and then start a parabolic move to the upside again not only on the bitcoin price but most likely also in the stock market Stochastic here is oversold and we have MACD and KSD quite flat. So also here, there could be still some pushes towards $11,000, but if it's gonna be sustainable, I don't know and I don't think so. So I'm still more prepared for the bearish scenario than the bullish scenario at the moment. But this is only with my trading portfolio. My HODL portfolio will always be untouched and that's why my friends only trade with the amounts that you're willing also to lose because your HODL portfolio, you should keep it safe, stored in a hardware wallet and for the long term not for these short-lived trades that we're doing here on Bybit and now let's switch back into the DXY because here in the daily time frame as I told you my friends if we were able here to close daily candles above the 20 and 50 daily moving average like we're doing right now you should be prepared that the DXY could go up here to test the 200 daily moving average at $97 and we are on our way towards this target here and in that case we would see a big crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price and so far we are keeping up with this possible target up here but of course on the way up here we could see also some pullbacks here especially down to the 20 or 50 daily moving average before we're gonna crash again here in the dxy and pump in the stock market and bitcoin price but so far it looks like that we're heading towards this 97 dollar and of course this could be very dangerous for the bitcoin price and also the stock market but so far it looks like that we could also top out pretty soon here the rsi is coming into overbought condition i don't have a sell signal here in my own indicator but most likely we will reach these levels here before we're gonna bottom out in the bitcoin price and start then the parabolic move to the upside we don't have necessarily to go up here it's also gonna be depending if we're gonna create like a bearish divergence or anything like that also in the rsi but at least this is for now my target here of 97 dollar for the dxy which of course is very bearish i know for the bitcoin price but since we are now in a downtrend here at least for the short term you should be prepared for this scenario and also have some tether on the sideline also to buy back in once we're gonna see cheaper prices and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content please moon up the likes here subscribe to the channel also join our free discord trading chat and if you're interested in watching my 24 7 live stream with my own indicator then contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye